I'm in Vienna at the train station and I'll take the night train to Venice. I want to find out if it's worth taking the train instead of the plane. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of traveling by night train? Let's find out. That's the train to Venice, right? Yes. Are you traveling to Venice? Yes, yes. Is it your first time? Yeah. Okay. May I see your ticket? Thank you. Okay. You're right here. Uh, do you have any luggage so I can help yeah. you with the luggage? No, but I can uh, carry it. No are problem. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. That's my cabin. It's like a small hotel room. And it's bigger than I thought, actually. My sleeper ticket costs 177 euros. It's not cheap, but it's more environmentally friendly. For comparison, a plane ticket can be as cheap as 17 euros. But night trains are becoming more popular, and this year there will be more connections. 9.27 p.m. We leave on time. Hello, good evening. May I give you your welcome drink, please? Yes, <laughs> thank you, you. And we have here the breakfast card. The night stewardess shows me my cabin. We will be on the road for about 11 hours. The train goes from Vienna and passes through Salzburg, Villach, Udine and Treviso before arriving in Venice. Okay, it's 10 p.m. Let's see who else is on the train. Where are you from? Kansas, United States. And why do you take the train instead of the airplane? Ease, and much easier. Um, I'm backpacking, so backpacking and airplanes, it wastes a lot of time, I think, because traveling internationally, you have to check in in advance and then check in your luggage. Where the train is, you hop on, you go, you get off, you get lost, it's okay, it's not a big deal. I've heard it's quite the experience to do the night jet from uh, Vienna to Venice, so I was excited about it. Can I see your room? Yeah, sure. Maybe it's... Um... Maybe it's better than mine. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's just me and I'm small. <laughs> no, but it's the same. It's just the other way around, but I think it's the same. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's really cool. Where I'm from, we don't have public transportation like this. I'm from a very rural area. So this is a very unique experience. Where I'm from is 4,000 people. Everybody drives by car. Nobody really walks or takes the bike or anything like that. So this, this is really exciting for me. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Japan. And why do you take the night train? Uh, I'm now traveling Europe. And uh, my dream is uh, traveling abroad. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the first time in the night train? Yes. I'm so excited. We just get married. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Like three or four days ago. Uh, and we didn't want to take the plane because of uh, ecology and stuff. Taking, uh, But we still wanted to travel a bit. So when you travel, you always take the train. You never take the plane? Never. Sometimes the bus. <laughs> yes. We do take the bus. <laughs> For honeymoon, this is the first class uh, <laughs> private with a uh, bath, uh, with a shower and stuff. Exactly. So it's, uh, it's quite comfortable. I'd like to order my dinner, so it's time to push the button. <laughs> Looks delicious. <laughs> the train just stopped right now. <clears throat> Let's see where we are. Ah, Atnan Puchheim. <laughs> Still in Austria, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Time to shower. And I didn't bring a towel, but I found this in my compartment. I'll give it a try. My first time taking a shower on a train.
The chair is fine, but the train is moving. So it's always <laughs> like this. <laughs> Now it's getting serious. Will I be able to sleep on the night train? At least I have a compartment to myself and I can lock the door. Time to sleep. like a bed in a hotel. Just shorter. <laughs> but I fit right in. <laughs> Look. That's my feet. Almost touching the wall. And I'm right here. <sighs> Good night. I can't sleep. I don't know why. The train is standing still right now. I think we're in Salzburg. Oh, I can hear sounds from the cabin next to me. <sighs> oh. Good morning, Italy. <laughs> The night stewardess turns my sleeping area into a seating compartment. That's because it's time for breakfast. Here you are, and the It wasn't the best night of sleep I've ever had. Maybe I was too excited. We're still about an hour from Venice. Coffee's not that good. Sorry to disturb you, but how was the night? It was really good. <laughs> How's the honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> the honeymoon is going perfectly. <laughs> we can sleep several hours and the bunk beds are quite good. And also, also we love the, you know, the... I don't know how to say it in English. In French? In, in French, we love the le roulis du train. Ah, you know, the, um, the sound of the train. The sound of the train, yeah. It's, it kind of helps us to sleep. Honestly, I was comfortable, but every time the train stopped, I woke. I, I was getting used to the movement of the train, um, especially when we stopped in Salzburg. It was a long stop. I was like, all right, let's get moving so I can go back to sleep. But no, it was good. And there it is, the Venetian Lagoon. We're almost there. Finally, here is the comparison. By train from Vienna to Venice, the trip used 30 kilograms of CO2. By plane, it would be about 230 kilograms of CO2. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> if there's no time pressure and I'm not on a tight budget, then the night train is a great alternative to flying. And it's definitely more climate friendly. Well, tell me, what do you think? Feel free to leave a comment. And well, I'm gonna do some sightseeing in Venice. It's my first time, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>